Hi there, today I was wanting to show you some interesting trials that we're running on the farm. Uh, this is uh, a stubble from beans last year and we've just managed it with the straw harrow. Um, you can see that we've got a nice spattering of beans across the field and it's been straw harrowed now three times. Now what we're trying to do is to get some of the volunteers and then also some of the grass weeds and you can see we've got a nice amount of grass weeds growing on this field which is exactly what we want. We want to try and get these grass weeds growing so we can control them uh, prior to drilling the next crop. So I wanted to get out here now because in the last 48 hours we've had around about uh, 18 millimetres of rain so you can see we've got a bit of black grass already growing but I want to come back up here in a few days time because there will be an absolute explosion of black grass up here I'm sure of it. Um, what we've also been doing on this field is some cover crop trials and some various ways of, of establishing uh, the cover crops. Um, we've been using a mix from Hutchinson's up here and it's, uh, it's put on deliberately at quite a low rate to allow us to uh, get the black grass to chit um, in between uh, the, the uh, well in the in the cover crop and not to mask it out completely. Um, it's also done a fantastic job uh, of conditioning the soil with the rooting and everything as well underneath. Um, I can dig up a little bit over here on our stubble management plot and. can see full of full of worms all oh it come back full of worms and plenty of moisture there full of worm holes all the way through um, another worm there so this will drill absolutely beautifully I've, I've no abs no doubt about that whatsoever uh, the soil is just like air tech soil uh, is completely full of worm holes uh, which is exactly what we want and as I say there's there's a light cover crop on here uh, with the beans and everything that we've planted then sort of going on this is using the leading tine and establishing the cover crop and we've got a nice amount of volunteer beans which have grown in here um, and various uh, species within the spe seven species mix um, and a, a lot more cover uh, across here, a, a very good establishment of everything. And you can see the difference with the amount of beans, for instance, which we've managed to get to grow uh, when we've run the drill through. We've equally managed to get as many beans to grow when we've been with the straw harrow, but we've just managed to mechanically remove them by going again with the straw harrow. So what I shall do is just wander across here a little bit and find uh, some uh, plants within the cover crop. Surprisingly, it's, it is relatively dry at the moment on here um, because again, the cover crop has helped to take the moisture away, uh, which will help again with late drilling. But you can see the crop is nicely rooted. The worms are moving around here. A nice amount of worm holes and everything within the soil. So again, the conditions on here are on heavy clay and there's not a bit of mud sticking to my boots despite having 18 millimetres of rain in 48 hours. So we come across further. Again, this is all drilled with the standard tine setup, getting a nice amount of black grass to grow in here. And as I mentioned before, you know, that's what we're trying to do, trying to get some black grass to grow um, so that then we can control it. We didn't want the cover crop to be too thick. Uh, if we made it too thick, then we would mask out the cover crop and stop it from growing. So a really nice establishment all the way across. And we come to the line here and the line here is this side is with the standard leading tine using the A-blade and the leading tine. And then on this side, we've drilled it with our low disturbance setup. It's still a very good establishment. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, and it's come very nicely. You can see it's sort of in the three meter widths here rather than the six meter widths uh, that we had across on the standard tine setup. Um, but it hasn't taken and hasn't got away quite so well as what the standard tine setup has. And also within here, 
there's a, a good amount of black grass growing again less competition i suppose which allows for for more black grass to get away um and and get the uh, get the coverage there as i say what we're trying to achieve is black grass growth so we can control it and we can get it going um interestingly where it's thinner as well down this end of the field and we didn't get as good establishment as what we've got further up the field you can see this is probably and this is again using the low disturbance kit this is probably the the worst area on the field for black grass um, and if you compare and contrast this with the sort of farm standard where we've been with the straw harrow uh, you can see just how many flushes of black grass and how many plants we must have killed by doing those free straw harrow operations. So what we're going to do on this field is we've drilled uh, with low disturbance here with a cover crop. Uh, we've stubble managed the rest of the field using the straw harrow and we've drilled down this end with the leading tine and the A blade and we've put the crop in using the leading tine and the A blade down this part of the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to drill across the field and we're going to drill with the different tine setups and see the difference that we've managed to achieve with the different uh, cover cropping, stubble management and establishment techniques. So we'll be able to show you some interesting things on our open day later this year. Um, and behind me here, we've got a bit more of a mature cover crop that we put in earlier in the year, which we'll also be drilling straight into. So again, I wanted to show this now because when we come up here in a few days time, um, with the 18 millimetres of rain that we've just had, I'm expecting to see this really green up with black grass. And what we'll do is let it green up, spray it off with glyphosate and drill all of this in the way that I just said. So thank you for watching the video and uh, please keep watching and stay up to date with what we're doing. Thank you very much.